Hello class, this is going to be a short tutorial to teach you how to navigate throughout your course. When you open up your OST 110 course, at the top left hand corner you'll have content, calendar, discussions, gradebook, and messages. Your content area shows you all the assignments that, that will be necessary for you to complete. The calendar can be shown in day or month. Only Blackboard assignments will be on the calendar. Your Cengage assignments will not appear on the calendar. So this is not a good tool in this course to use. You have your calendar sections in your module and attached to your syllabus. And we will get to that in a few minutes. There are no discussions in OST 110. In your gradebook, see your name and a list of all your lessons and your grades. Please check your gradebook at any time to make sure that your test hat or assignment has posted. If it hasn't, please message me immediately. You can click Select Message. This message is strictly between you and I when you reply. The first thing in your course will be your student blackboard introduction. Please watch this so you know how to navigate the LMS that you are using for better success. They are short videos and it goes over the items that we just talked about so you have a refresher. If you need additional assistance with Blackboard then there is a PDF file with links to help you troubleshoot anything that you might have using the Blackboard system. And of course you need to always take your orientation course. The next item in your course is a BrainFuse link. At any time that you need online tutoring for anything, it is free at BCTC, not just for typing, but for English, math, science, any subjects that you're taking, please use your online free tutorial service. You will need to access your Start Here module first and completing the items listed. This is a welcome and course overview to your complete course and it gives you a little welcome of what you need to do first before starting the course and your course competencies. The main thing I want to point out on this page is to please read your welcome message. As you can see right now this needs to be updated but it will be updated before the course starts so please make sure that you follow all the steps to begin your course. The second item is how to contact your instructor and a little bit about them. The syllabus and schedule are included for you to download or view. And of course it has your grading feedback, academic resources, your Cengage technical support. If something happens with your Cengage, you have a way to reach out to get support when you can't reach me. And Netiquette and Blackboard. You will need to review each one of these in order to open up the modules in your course. And as you can see how to access your course, all your modules are opening on the performance of your Get Started Here Acknowledgement Quiz will also be your no-show assignment. So once you read your Start Here modules, you will need to take this assessment to show me that you have and you know how to access certain things that you will need. Open up how to access your content. Watch all the how-to videos on how to complete a speed test, how to submit a speed test, uh, how to do key drills, word drills, and how to complete your projects on your Cengage. Once you have watched all the how-to videos, you will be required to take a pre-test. If you cannot pass this pre-test with 25 networks per minute or higher, uh, you may want to consider, you do not have to, but you may want to consider dropping and taking OST 101 first before you take this course. I would try a day or two to get my speed up past 25 networks per minute, and there's guides in there to show you how. And then to open up your modules, as you can see, the modules will open, all modules will open for your content if you achieve 90% or higher on the no-show assignment, which is your Get Started Here Acknowledgement Quiz. You will have limited attempts to take the Get Started Here Acknowledgement Quiz. If for some reason you cannot pass the Get Started Acknowledgement Quiz before the first day of class or your first assignment is due, please contact me 
and I will open up the course after we talk a little bit about the questions that you could not pass. Once your modules open up, inside of each module you have a module overview and this tells you exactly what this module needs in order for it to be completed. Down at the bottom you'll have a list of activities. Now this just kind of refreshes what your syllabus and your grading policy and your calendar has. It just kind of breaks it down for you. So if you can't find it in your syllabus and you can't find it in your schedule, it's always in your module overview. The second item in a module is the link to your student dashboard, which will take you to all your lessons on the Cengage content. And this is your student dashboard. So all your assignments are listed here. This is your e-textbook. Lesson one is just review. Lessons one through 25 are actually just review. So you will be completing lessons one through 25 throughout the course. So you don't have to just do lessons one through 25 first to begin your other content areas. Lessons one through 25, again, I will say a review. Do lessons one through 25 skill builders A through T as you are beginning lesson 27. Lessons 1 through 25 in skill builders do not have to be done before you start lesson 27. Try to work on them simultaneously. Under lesson 25 you will find your skill builders and they're A through T and they are broken down in individual modules for you inside of Blackboard but you can also access them here. And then underneath Skill Builders, you start with Lesson 27. Lesson 26, we will not be completing. It is a read-only for word processing. Lesson 31, 36, 48, and 53 are omitted from this course. Lessons 27 through 55 usually have three parts to them. So drop down the arrow and complete your key drills, your word drills, and your project. And remember, back in the How to Access Your Content, there are videos to show you how to complete these. Lessons 54 through 55 are your finals, and there are six projects. So this link is provided in each module so you don't have to search for it. The next part is a three five minute time writing required for the semester. Now this is a document telling you how to do it. You will not be submitting anything on this. This is just a description of the process and how you go about completing the three five minute time writings. The next link is Skill Builders. And when you open up the Skill Builders, as I said before, this link will take you out to the dashboard that has the Skill Builders on it. I have also broken them down inside the course to give you a time management frame if you complete A through E in this module. And in the second module, if you complete F through H. So by the end of the semester, if you want to follow this guide, you'll have all of them completed. And the same in module three. Now in the final module, in the module overview, it will describe to you what all the projects are and what you need to be done. So by the end of final module eight, you should have all your skill builders done. You should have your three five minute time writings done and you will need to complete the six projects in lesson 54 through 55. You can turn in your five minute time writings anytime you want to throughout the course. Please watch the video on how to complete the time writings and how to submit a time writing for each of these items. By the end of the course, this link will be provided and open to you to do a course evaluation. There is a practice speed typing link in your course that you can practice anytime you want to. If you watch the how to complete a speed typing, you will learn that you can turn in a speed typing test anytime you want to throughout the course and you want to strive to get the highest possible score on your speed typing test. 
35 words per minute is the lowest that you can get, and it is a C. The higher your net words per minute, the better your grade. Your speed typing test is 40% of your grade. I would like to say that the due dates in this course are for time management only. And what I mean by that is, in your Start Here section under Syllabus and Schedule, you have a checklist for all the assignments in OST 110. There are no due dates set on the Cengage side or in Blackboard. However, the modules do have dates on them for them to be completed by a certain time to allow you to have time management and framework on what you should be completed to be finished by the end of the course. I would like to advise you to download this section and set your own due dates and check off the items as you get them completed. By doing this gives you a go to achieve and be completed by the end of the semester. The due dates that will be set on each module are a time frame for you to complete these assignments by this date in order for you to stay on track in the course. This course is a high paced course and you need to work in it every day or almost every day to stay on top of the lessons or you will get behind. Again, I want to say that lessons 1 through 25 and Skill Builders A through T are review lessons and can be done simultaneously while you are completing lesson 27 through 55. You don't need to be pressured in completing 1 through 25 first and all Skill Builders first before beginning your lessons. Work on them a little every day until the end of the course or until they are completed. If at any time you have questions or concerns, please email your instructor or message them through Blackboard.